Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca and on this channel I go for all things accounting, finance, excel and investment related. So if you do like this kind of stuff, please do consider subscribing and otherwise let's get straight into the video. So in today's video, we're going to go ahead and have a look at the AAT level 2 synoptic. So we're going to try and dive into some questions that I prepared to hopefully help you with your studies. So let's jump onto the computer. Okay, so in this question, we've got a petty cash book. And what we're being told, first of all, is that the balance brought forward for the petty cash book is £250. So what that means is that there is £250 of cash sat in the petty cash float brought forward. So we're being asked to complete the petty cash book or the PCB. So so we've got three items, paper, paper clips and milk, and we've been told different things in this note section over here in H. So we've been told that stationery was £39, but that there's VAT of 20%. So to work out how much that VAT is, I'm just going to take this 39 and times it by 0.2. So 0.2 as a decimal is the equivalent to 20%. So I'm just going to add up the VAT and the net stationary. So these elements here are net, this is VAT and this is gross. So it means that all of the net over here plus your VAT must equal this gross column here in column D. So next we've got paper clips. So paper clips totaled £56 and there's no VAT here. So I'm going to go ahead and pop paper clips into stationary and I'm going to pop them is 56 as well into the total column in column D because we're being told that there's no VAT here so the total cost of was 56 pound and it's 56 pound net so next we've got milk so the milk total was 10 pound 50 so just pay attention there because it's telling you that the gross total is 10 pound 50 so if that is the case and we have VAT of 20%, in order to work out the net of that £10.50, I'm just going to take the £10.50 and divide by 1.2, which gives me £8.75. And then the VAT element of that is just going to be £8.75 times by 0.2. And if you add those both up together, £8.75 plus £1.75 gives you £10.50. So the next thing I'm going to do is just add these up here. So I'm just going to make these pretty because I don't like when things don't look very nice. And what you can see here is that this £8.75 actually should be over here in consumables, not under stationery. So let's just make sure that this adds up. So all of those is 113.30, VAT is £9.55, stationery is 95 and consumables is £8.75. And if I add up all of these totals at the bottom, that gives me £113.30. So my balance carry forward after taking into account what I've spent is going to be this £250 float brought forward minus this £113.30 that we spent. However, you can see here that the petty cash book should always have a float of £250. So what we're being asked down here is how much will the petty cash need to be topped up by? So the answer is going to be 113 pound 30. So just exactly what we've spent in effect to get that back up to the 250 pound float. So what are the double entries here? So if I was going to post this into my nominal, what double entries am I going to have? So first off, let's work with the net expenditure. So we're going to have a debit to consumables of £8.75. We're going to have a debit to stationery of 95 We're going to have a debit to VAT control account of £9.55. And then we're going to have a credit to Petty Cash Book of £113.30. And you will see that all of those equal zero. Now, the reason why this is a credit over here is if I just draw a T account over here, really simply, call this petty cash, Look. so brought forward, we had 250, and then over here, I'm going to have my expenditure. of £113.30 because this here is reducing the balance of this £250 over here 
when I look at my income statement or profit and loss accounts, whichever you prefer, I'm going to have my consumables of my £8.75 and my stationery of 95 there. So as a result of that, any revenue that I've got, I'm then going to take off this cost that I've incurred in the year. So these little stationary and consumable costs are going to reduce my overall profit line that I'm showing if I have a profit. And then in terms of the VAT control account, if I just, again, I'm just gonna copy that up there. Let's create a space to make this a little bit less messy. Then what I'm going to have here is my petty cash VAT of £9.55. Any sales are going to be on this side. This will show as an asset because effectively that is the amount that I can then claim back from HMRC at the quarter end or year end or, or whenever I am reporting on my VAT return. So that needs to be a debit in there. So overall, all of these entries then balance off. So these ones here are on the statement of financial position or the balance sheet. So I'm just going to write that there. And these over here are going to be in the income statement or the profit and loss account. So I hope you found that useful. Please do consider subscribing as always and I shall see you on the next video.